What's going on guys? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel and today I'm going to teach you guys how to tear down the new ROG Zephyrus G15 laptop and upgrade the RAM or the SSD or both if you want. Right after this word from our sponsor, RestStream. RestStream is an all-in-one solution for your stream, allowing you to broadcast your stream to multiple platforms simultaneously with zero additional hardware performance required. RestStream has its own studio that you can also use to completely set up your own stream and it has a ton of extra features as well. And if you upgrade to the pro level, you have cloud storage available that will automatically save and store your streams for 14 days and then you can actually download them and use them for future video content creation. This is just one of the many awesome features of RestStream, so if that interests you in any way, check the link below and sign up and start streaming to multiple platforms today. All right guys, so if you haven't seen my first video on the new Zephyrus G15, click up here and check my unboxing and first impressions video first to see what this machine is like right out of the box from Asus and Best Buy. And on that subject, I actually left out something I wanted to put in that video, so we're gonna do it right now instead. So I wanted to let you guys actually hear what the speakers in this machine sound like because I've been getting a few comments about it on the last video uh, asking me if my speakers pop or something like that. So let's get the laptop open and I'll do a quick speaker test for you guys real quick. So we're going to see how this thing sounds like right out of the box and uh, my microphone so you guys know is right up here where I normally do my speaking voice so should be able to pick these up just fine. I'm going to have the volume right now. We'll put it at like 50% to start with. Let's do that. Uh, 50% yep and we'll put on some let's put on some like synth wave music and see what it sounds like here. Already sounds pretty good. Skip along. Okay, and I'm not hearing any popping like you guys were saying in the comments, so it looks like my speakers are just fine. Let me let me find a different song that maybe is a little bit louder. One second. Let's turn it up. This is more at like 85. Sounds good. Okay, I think we can conclude speakers sound awesome. I don't have any popping or crackling like you guys are saying. And uh, I'm actually very surprised. These speakers, uh, being that they come out, out of the top here of the case and the bottom, it gives you a really full sound here from Asus and I really like it. I think it's amazing for a laptop set of speakers. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that real quick and hopefully that helped you. But you clicked on this video because you wanted to see how to take this thing apart and do some optional upgrades. So let's get into that and let me show you guys how to do it. All right guys, to get this whole thing done, you really only need a Phillips head screwdriver. You might need a flathead as well just to pry the bottom part off, but we'll get to that in a bit. But just anyway, the stuff that I'm going to be doing today for upgrading my G15 is I'm going to be upgrading to a one terabyte extra SSD. So this system already comes with a one terabyte SSD. So I'm gonna apply another one. So I'll have a total of two terabytes. And then you also have the option of upgrading your RAM as well. Now, like I said in the last video, this system actually comes with eight gigabytes of RAM soldered onto the motherboard. So you can't do anything with that, unfortunately, but you can actually upgrade to another 32 gigabyte stick. And so you can get a max total of 40 gigabytes as far as I know right now. I know uh, the actual product sheet says 48 gigabytes, but I have not found a way to actually make that happen. So what I'm gonna show you right now is how to take off the bottom part of the case and go ahead and open it up and put in this new one terabyte M.2 SSD that I got from Sabrent. So if you take a look at the back of the computer, you'll see that you need to remove 13 different screws. All but three of the screws are very simple to take out. You basically just need a Phillips head screwdriver to go ahead and torque those screws out. I like to use my wow stick because it uh, is an automatic screwdriver and it really helps with this kind of thing. But if you do something like this, just be careful that you don't over torque things, especially when you put them back in. Now, as I said, 10 of them are pretty easy, but these three in the middle right here have these little Little plastic covers on them and there's some adhesive on the bottom of that plastic cover so you need something like a knife or something with like a straight edge on top to go ahead and lift that out and pull the adhesive off it's pretty easy just be careful you don't cut into anything and once you finally get all the screws out you can go ahead and pull up on the plastic cover and remove it and then you can finally see the innards of your g15 
right and as i said before we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the memory right here and as i said there is eight gigabytes soldered onto the motherboard so you can't really touch that that's just going to be there no matter what but this what i'm taking out right here is the eight gigabyte actual sodium that you can take out and it's samsung memory so that's pretty nice but you can go ahead and find a matching stick in a 32 gigabyte variant if you'd like for a total of 40 gigs that you can go ahead and put in this machine um, i'm not doing that today but i just figured i'd pull that out and show you there's just a couple little clamps on the side that you need to lift up on to pull it out and then to get it back in you just move them to the side and it pops right back in And if you take a look right below our memory, you can see our SK Hynix 1 terabyte M.2 SSD. And then to the left of that is the slot where we can then slot in our new Sabrent Rocket 1 terabyte SSD. So all we gotta do is take it out of its package right here and then go ahead and unscrew one single screw as I will do right now. And with that one screw out, all you got to do is make sure that the SSD is oriented the correct way as you see here, and then go ahead and slot it in there. And right after that, all you got to do is press down on it and put that screw right back in to hold it down. And now with our new M.2 SSD installed, we now have two terabytes of usable storage. So all we got to do is go ahead and put the back plate back on and throw those 13 screws right back in it. now with everything buttoned up we're actually not done yet we still need to go ahead and go into windows and activate it so it can find it you'll see right here in this pc the ssd hasn't shown up yet so what we actually have to do next is go into disk management in windows and then you will see as soon as you pull it up there usually will be a window right there that tells you that you have a new hard drive or SSD with unallocated space. So really all you have to do is follow the on-screen prompts and then go ahead and activate your new drive. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want. You can give it a drive letter, doesn't matter. It gives you a bunch of different choices. So follow the on-screen prompts and then at the end, it basically will just go ahead and activate that drive for you and you will be able to use it. So as you all saw, this process is actually pretty simple. Just a few screws to take out and you're ready to upgrade your machine to be even better. And now you'll have a ton of extra space for all those huge game downloads such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Cold War, as well as all that extra space for media downloads such as your saved streams from Reststream. And since they're the sponsor of this video, I figured I'd quickly show you what the quality is like when you go ahead and save one of those streams and play it for later. So check this out. So again, if you're ever interested in streaming to multiple platforms and being able to actually download those streams later on, go ahead and check the link in the description to get started with Reststream. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this video was helpful to you, and if it was, show me some support by liking the video. And if you guys really do enjoy my content you wanna see more, make sure to get subscribed with those notifications on so you'll never miss any of my uploads. Take care everybody, and I'll see you later.